Hi, my name is Dee Dee and welcome to my channel. Uh, so welcome to Dee's Dream. So today we're going to be talking about just things you could do during quarantine, beauty edition. So I'm looking at my phone, so that's why I'm looking down. But so we're going to talk about DIY face masks, DIY hair masks, um, an oil type treatment for your braids, and a DIY body exfoliating scrub. Also, nails. So yeah, let's get started. So the first thing I want to talk about was the DIY face mask. Um, so I really wanted to try this one. I found it on Pinterest. I'm going to leave it down below. It wasn't really like a recipe or anything. I just, it was just one of those posts where it's like the picture and then it just shows you the ingredients or whatever. So it's not really, you know, um, it's not really a tutorial with the exact measurements. So I kind of just winged it. It's going to have banana as the first ingredient. Then it's going to have lemon and honey now i know the banana i think it's for more moisturizing and firming and the lemon is for brightening if you have you know sensitive skin i would not probably use lemon i think lemon is a little too harsh for someone with sensitive skin so i would use something else for a brightening agent or just use banana and honey you know whatever you want to do but i would not use the lemon so basically, I just mix those three ingredients together in a, in a little bowl. Um, I use a fork kind of to mash up the, um, the banana. And then, yeah, then I just apply it to my face. I put it on for 10 minutes, and then I wash it off. And yeah, I made my skin super soft. So another face mask that I want to talk about is probably one you've seen already, and it's the clay mask, the DIY clay mask. The first ingredient I'm going to show you is the apple cider vinegar. I think it's an organic one that I use. I can't remember where I, I think I just got it from the beauty supply store. It's nothing crazy. And then um, I also have uh, bentonite Aztec clay. And I can link that below where you can get that. You can definitely get it on Amazon or anything like that. And you're basically going to just put those in a bowl and mix those equal parts till it's a smooth type clay type texture you know you don't want it to be too hard but not too too liquidy so i like a little in between so you want to do that and then you're just going to apply to your face and this one i would do maybe 15 minutes 10 to 15 minutes whatever you feel like works this mask is also great for your hair it's fantastic for your hair when i use it on my natural hair for my natural curls and everything my curls be popping okay okay the next part that I'm going to be talking about is hair masks, DIY hair masks. I could have shown 5 million different ones of these if I had my natural hair out right now. I decided I'd put in like a little um, hot oil treatment or anything for anyone else who has braids who just wants their scalp to feel real good or anything like that. So the one I'm going to be showing is the Wild Growth hair oil. I really like this oil. I mean... There's mixed reviews on it, but I really like this one. I like the one in the white bottle. There's two. There's one in the yellow and one in the white. I really like this one. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bowl and I'm going to fill that bowl up with boiling water. Super, super, super hot water, right? And then I'm just going to place the wild grow inside that, um, inside that boiling water. And I'm just going to let it sit for about 7 to 10 minutes, I would say. And that's what's going to heat up. The oil for your hair and then after that I just take it out the water and I just apply it to my hair so I just take it out the water and then I apply it to my hair and I massage my hair in each section I didn't really show it in this section of the video but I actually will flip my head over upside down really get the circulation going and for growth um, I really only use this wild grow oil towards the end of my braids my braid um, style because if i use this in the beginning my hair will grow out way too fast and then it's like i gotta take the braids out because they're not you know it's growing out so i will just wait till like the last two three weeks of your braids to use this you know when you're ready to take it out anyway and it just gets your hair growing so good i use it every like two to three days and i'll use the same hot oil method and it works really really well so like I said before, um, because I have, you know, braids, I can't really show hair masks. However, there's one that I like to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys um, the ingredients and everything. And I'm not going to even 
crack the egg or do anything like that because I'm not really going to be using it. So I'm just going to show you the ingredients that I use um, just in like a little snippet or whatever. So that way you can see what it would be like if I was actually, you know, putting it in my hair. I just crack the egg, the olive oil and the honey in a bowl. Just mix them all up or whatever. And I put that on my hair as kind of like a pre-poo protein treatment type thing. I'll keep that in my hair for about an hour. And then I wash that out and my hair is so moisturized and it's perfect right before shampoo so that my hair does not get stripped of its oils. So the next DIY section I'm going to be talking about is DIY body exfoliating scrub. Now I've tried this a few years ago with different variations of different things, but the one I'm going to be talking about in this video is a coffee scrub. So the caffeine in coffee is really, really good for your skin, especially if you have dry skin. It works really, really well as an exfoliant along with some other ingredients that you can add. So I'm going to show you how I do that. People in my house only drink decaf coffee. And because of everything going on with this coronavirus, you know, I obviously can't go out to the store whenever I want to and buy caffeinated coffee. So in this video, I'm going to be using decaf coffee. However, the more caffeinated the coffee is, the better the result will be. So just keep that in mind, okay? So you really shouldn't use decaf. It will still exfoliate, but you really should not use decaf. The next ingredient that I'm gonna add is sugar, just for some extra exfoliant, you know, really get in there, especially if you have dry skin, it's fantastic. Olive oil for moisture, and then also a little bit of cinnamon. So I'm just gonna add those and you know mix it into the bowl you know you don't want to make sure you want to make sure it's not too watery if it's too watery it's not gonna be right it's not gonna look it's not gonna be right because if it's too watery it's just gonna feel like nothing it's gonna feel like sliding off your skin it's not gonna do anything like no it needs to be a nice consistency so after that you know i'm just gonna show a little part with me putting it on that, I'm gonna wash off, wash, just soap a little bit on my legs to get it off, and then I'm left with amazing, fantastic, exfoliated legs. Like, yes, honey, do you, <laughs> period. So the last part that I'm gonna talk about is actually not a DIY. I was gonna show how I do my DIY press on nails where I basically I put them on and I shape them and then I myself color them and stuff, but I actually did not do that for this video. I just decided to go in with some of my favorite press on nails that are already painted. So I went in with these Kiss ones. You can see the Kiss label and it's the Impress Nails, and I really, really like it. Now, if you see in the video, I'm gonna pull out a different pair. I think it's also Kiss, I can't remember, but I'm gonna pull out another pair. I actually decided not to do that because I didn't wanna set myself up for failure. I'm like, if I, I know that if the nails are too long, it's gonna be too annoying and I'm not gonna be able to, you know? So, I just kept the short nails. However, I took the glue from the previous pack of the longer nails. So these impress nails have a sticky on the bottom. So you're able to take off that sticky and place it on your nail. So what I did to make sure that the nails last a really long time, what I did was I put the Kiss glue on it, the one on the pink bottle that's really, really good. So I put that glue on it. And then after that, then I peeled off the plastic and put the nail on so i put the glue on my actual nail first then i put on these and they honestly last for weeks and weeks on end y'all i'm not even kidding if you do that if you do the sticky part plus the glue girl it's i mean it's definitely gonna last you a week if not more so that's basically it guys thank you so much for tuning into this video i just wanted to do a quick little video on you know a little quarantine beauty you know a little spa day for yourself if you decide to do any of these things in the video please comment and let me know i love talking to people on comments and everything also big disclaimer i'm not a huge beauty i guess you could say expert i love beauty i study i study it i look at a lot of stuff but at the end of the day i am not you know a licensed professional you know so if your esthetician told you not to put use lemon products 
don't be looking at this video and then deciding to put lemon in the that you know like that don't make no sense no no okay this is just the stuff that i do that works for me that i like that be getting my skin popping i mean i'm wearing I'm wearing foundation right now, but you know what I mean, girl. Make sure you give me a like, a comment, and subscribe. Please check out my last two videos, and I'm going to see you guys Friday for my vlog. Bye.